to my channel, my name is Nikki Sujadi and in this video I want to talk to you about 3 money lessons that I've learned this year for you to bring forward to 2021. So let's get into it. Now the first money lessons that I want to share with you is to invest constantly. That is also known as DCA which is dollar cost averaging. Essentially, you're just putting the same amount of money into the same periodic and constant investment, right? You can invest, for example, $500 every single month to a certain fund or certain stock. That's essentially it. Now, why do I think that is very important? Now, that's because the market is so unpredictable. As you can see this year, it's so unpredictable. It crashes at March. You could say it's predictable because the COVID actually hits and, uh, and everyone was in lockdown. So I guess it was quite a predictable thing that the market actually crashed because everyone was panicking. But one thing that was actually unpredictable in my opinion was the way it recovered. It recovered to the same amount or same value at July or August, which if you can think about it, it was quite unpredictable. We didn't expect that to recover that fast because the COVID situation was still really bad and yet the market has recovered. And that's one thing to tell you that the market is illogical and that it just moves randomly sometimes. So it is crucial to invest constantly because if we think that at that point of time that it can keep going down and we don't invest, then we might have missed one of the biggest opportunity in our lifetime as millennials. So yeah, please do invest constantly and I'm gonna do that every single time following next year as well. Now, the second money lesson is to diversify my income. Why do I say that? Is because when COVID hits, like everyone else as well, my job was actually affected. I got made redundant in September and that was actually my sole income. That was the only income source that I have. And yet I let someone on organization take that away from me. Now I really felt very, very powerless because there's really nothing I can do. They made the decision through a Zoom call and I think 30 in the whole company was made redundant. And sure, you can say it's unfair and everything, but in some sense, that was also my fault. I did not let myself have other sources of income and let this source of income just been taken away from me just like that. Thankfully, I had savings as well, so that didn't really matter too much. But what that taught me is that I have to diversify my income and that I shouldn't just let anyone have that power over me again. And that's why I'm doing this YouTube video. I'm doing a few other side projects, which is to actually help find other sources of income and you know potentially create passive income. That's really one thing that I've learned this year and something that I'm gonna keep doing until next year. So do look out for more of these videos. And if you, if you are finding value from this video, please do keep a thumbs up or keep a thumbs up. <laughs> please put a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. But yeah, do check out my other videos as well. Anyways, moving on to the third money lessons that I've learned this year, which is to save up and spend spend at the same time. Now, why do I say save up? As I mentioned just now, when I made redundant, I was really lucky that I have savings. I have emergency savings of up to six months. But it's really crucial to have at least three months of emergency savings because things like this will, it's unpredictable to happen. And sometimes you do not have the control of your own source of income, of your own employer. And the reason why I also said spent is because I think one thing that we can agree this year is that nothing is predictable. You know, life can just be taken away just like that. And I think it's so important to find that balance and also spend so that you can enjoy the present and the moment itself. You don't want to just save until retirement because, you know, you, you're just gonna live in the future. If you just keep saving until retirement, you just like, you know, you want to just save and save and save, then you will end up not living in the present moment itself. And, you know, I, I really think that we should also spend to actually enjoy what we have right now because these things are something to be grateful for and we shouldn't take like life like this for granted. So yes, that's the reason why I said finding the balance between saving and spending is so important and not to just take either side of the spectrum. Now, if you really want to know more to find a balance, I have created a video previously about how to live rich. And now in that video, I, I shared about how to spend extravagantly on the things you love and cut costs mercilessly on the things you don't because that way you can really help find that balance. Anyways, that is the three money lessons and I hope that you find so much value from this video. And because 
Today is the 29th of December. I want to wish you a happy new year and I do hope the best for the next year to come. And do expect more of these videos because I'll be making more of this and it will be a weekly one. So yep, do stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.